Nufti, can you talk about Dr. Hani Achan, please? Marvelous Quran, please say something. Aziz Sadiq, sure, I have checked out Dr. Uh, sorry, how do you say Dr. Hani Ach Achan? Yeah, Dr. Hani, I have checked out the channel anyway. I know which one you're talking about, and I definitely know the Sheikh you're speaking of. I, you know, his picture comes straight to my mind. Um, I've watched one or two of his lectures. Um, I mean, they, they, they. They're interesting. Uh, he's definitely trying to, you know, bring fresh eyes to the Quranic discourse, and and that's amazing. Anybody that's trying to do that, there's definitely an um, element, I would say, reasonably strong uh, element, or uh, or reasonably salient element of uh rational and you know rash rationality and reasoning it's definitely salient it's a salient feature of what he's trying to do i'm not sure it's always the dominant feature though because i i did watch one or two things and i wasn't really hmm, i i um i wasn't it didn't really uh, fall in sync with how i would see things and and other things i'm sure would so i watched I think, and, and I may have misunderstood stuff here, you see. So once again, because his lectures were so long, I don't watch them all, and so I'm at, I am at fault. So I could just be you know, totally misunderstanding what he's saying here. But there was something which he said, I, I watched a clip about the, about the miracles of Moses, and I found that, um, you know, a bit not, not really come i mean it's not really my cup of tea so he was saying something or i thought he was saying something like moses may have had an amputated hand and or he had a disabled kind of like a like something like not a fully formed hand or something and it was like maybe something disabled or he or he had a cut off hand like he was amputated and so when he puts his you know put your hand by your side and and raise it um you know like it comes out bright white uh without any harm he said that so what i what i understood is he was saying that then god just made a new hand grow for him right there and this was his miracle and this miracle I mean, so I, if if I understood that correctly, I, I it's not really how I would, um, you know, it doesn't. See, it's not really in line with that reasoning thought, and it's not really in line with the. So I don't know where to to put this. You see, because it's not really taking that rational rational approach, and it's not taking the. So maybe it's just a fresh eyes. You know, he's looking at it fresh, and he's saying, well, you know, this is how i see this and that's fine you know it's his take and he's a sheikh in his own right so there was that which i kind of found um hmm. and there was uh i mean there were other things that he was saying which were absolutely fine and you know um <clears throat> i heard uh, and which we it's clear that he's using the voice of reasoning uh about the quran he's saying things i think about the pharaohs about I think he's saying something about pyramids and and that's all good and there was nothing um he did, if I understood him correctly he also doesn't incline towards a virgin birth of Jesus and you know and that is the view of certain ulama so um so that's you know that's where he's following a a line of um kind of rational thinking with the verses and he's explaining that but i did find it a bit strange and i once again i'm this is a point that maybe i've misunderstood i think he is stating that the husband of mary is zakaria um and zakaria is mary's husband and zakaria is the father of jesus and John, Yahya, is the older brother of Jesus. This is what I kind of, I watched a, something, and this is what I understood from what he was saying. And so 
I, if I've misunderstood that, I apologize. And, you know, I, um, but that's, I'm pretty sure from what I went through, this is the understanding I took away that he was saying that these verses show that Zachariah marries Mary and that Jesus is his son. And then also John is Jesus's brother and also the, the, the older son or the younger, I don't know which way he puts them, but but I found that really kind of, uh, hmm. I mean, I don't agree with that in per personally, um, if that is the view. And if I'm mistaken, then I apologize, Sheikh uh, Samehni, um, you know. But yeah, so that's my thought. So generally, I welcome any, uh, and I always congratulate people trying to bring fresh eyes to uh, a... a um, a, a you know to scripture and revelation that is talking to us even today and that is really one of the wonderful things that muslims can do is interact with with the talking quran and so i appreciate that i admire th th that kind of skill set that uh quality but i from some other things i didn't mm, i didn't find myself necessarily in agreement but you know what i would love to discuss these things with him i would love to i know he said he wasn't really interested in going on any podcasts or anything because he has his own show so which is fine but if he did did want to um you know and he wanted to speak about them with somebody who's going to pres you know just inquire you know, rationally and reason from a perspective of reason, then I'm more than willing to do that. So, yeah.